Yo guys, what is up? Moxie here in our Borderlands 3 video and today we are going over the lead sprinkler and showing you guys what it can do. I think this is one of the most criminally underrated weapons in the entire game and with just a simple trick we can get it to work amazingly. Now before we do that we have to give way and uh, show the winners to the like, follow, and obey skin giveaway. We were giving away the PAX East exclusive skins slash stream team exclusive skins and how I did that is I used a random number generator to pick a video that was uh, either the video that I announced the giveaway or any video afterwards. Uh, so we have two codes to give away and the videos that won were the Transcended Amara video and the Krakatoa video. So this is the Transcended Amara video. We got 1,007 comments. This will give us our random winner. Guys, if you didn't win it, I'm sorry to the winners. Uh, really, congratulations. These are awesome skins. Let's see who we got. And our first winner is James W. I didn't think Amara could get any sex until <laughs> I saw these new skins. Congratulations, James. Amazing comment. And the next one is the Krakatoa video with 379 comments. So a lot less comments on this one. And the winner is Neku HD with comment, what the hell? <laughs> All right, guys, with that, congratulations, and let's get into the video. All right, guys, so this is the lead sprinkler. It is a Jacob's assault rifle that drops from Billy the Anointed in the Lair of the Harpy on Jacob's estate. Or you could get it from the Jab of Mogwai, a uh, voracious canopy. I have got this one from Billy the Anointed. And this gun can drop with any uh, prefix or a set amount of prefixes. The one that I recommend getting is the Gatlin prefix. This will allow the weapon to be fired full auto. Otherwise, you'll have to fire it in semi-auto, which uh, is not as great for using this weapon. Now... The weapon on its own, on any character, is not very good. Um, honestly, uh, people don't really use this weapon for a good reason. But uh, I'm about to show you guys a trick that makes it ridiculous. So when you fire this weapon, right now we're like in the closed space, so sometimes it does hit, but it spawns multiple projectiles. Um, and those projectiles do splash. They spawn wherever you hit. Uh, if you hit uh, your enemy in the body, it spawns two splash projectiles, and if you hit them in the head, they spawn three. If you saw there, those projectiles didn't have enough splash radius to damage our enemy. So when using this weapon, a lot of the times the splash radius of the other projectiles wouldn't damage the enemy, and they'd be wasted, or sometimes they'd be good for mobbing. But... For the most part, if you're not in like a closed space like this, those projectiles won't hit. Just like that. Wasting all of your damage. However, the trick to making this thing from actual zero to hero is splash damage radius. Now, I got this comm last night while farming a Celestial and Atomic. Not a great comm. But when you equip this splash damage radius, it increases the splash damage of the projectiles of the lead sprinkler, basically tripling the damage of this weapon because now all projectiles spawn will always hit. They will always, always hit the enemy that you're shooting at. Now, if you shoot them in the head, you're gonna get three projectiles and you're gonna do more damage. What's interesting about this weapon is that the damage of the projectiles are based off of the damage that you do with the weapon. So if you hit a headshot, headshots do more damage, you'll spawn three projectiles, but those projectiles will actually do more damage each time. So right there, we're hitting for like 10K. Now, I have been using, I was using this gun on a, 
uh, Moe's, which hopefully I'll have a build out soon for that, which we could do some crazy, crazy things with it. Uh, Amara works crazy with this. Uh, Zayden works really well with this. Moe's, they all, all of them can get this splash damage radius on a class mod. You can't get it on a uh, artifact, so I would go for area of effect damage, which is really good. And now that you have all of the projectiles hitting, it does a ton of damage. But if you can increase the damage that you're doing uh, on a headshot, for example, you can increase the damage of everything. So right now, for example, on Amara, we have a skill called Transcend, and I featured this skill in my Transcended Amara build. That's what we respect right now. And if you double pump out two avatars, you're going to get double stacks of it transcend, giving you plus 54% critical hit damage. Now, the more damage you pump into uh, your build and the more crit damage you have, the crazier this thing gets. Uh, just going to show you guys for a second here. Let's make sure we got photo mode on with our damage numbers. Double stack transcend. These are our damage numbers that we're starting to hit for. Uh, this is why this gun is so insane, is because when all three projectiles are hitting, you're getting a ton of initial damage with the crit, but a absolute absurd amount of uh, damage from these splashes. You can melt any single enemy in the game uh, as long as they're on the ground. The biggest weakness to this weapon is flying enemies because when they're flying, you'll shoot them and then the spawning projectiles won't actually hit them because they're high up. So flying enemies, it doesn't work against, but enemies that are on the ground will absolutely get shredded with this weapon. The damage that it puts out is actually wild. Now, these projectiles are unlisted, meaning that they get full overkill damage, they get full amp damage from things like a one-shotter shield, they get the bonuses from your ASE anointments. Um, There's so many ways to make these projectiles do an absurd amount of damage that when using this weapon uh, with the right build in the right hands, or use, uh, yeah, using this weapon, the it goes from being a mediocre, okay, average weapon to, I genuinely think, probably the strongest assault rifle in the game. I haven't seen assault rifles melt enemies like this thing can um, with splash damage radius. That is all you need. Uh, the Gatling on this is going to make it way better, but look at these freaking damage numbers. Um, it's, it's so awesome. <laughs> It makes me quite happy. Uh, yeah, as you can see, ridiculous. Shreds any enemy you want to shred, and it can be used on any character. The only thing you need is splash damage radius. Now, the build that I was running for using this was mainly Transcended Amara, but when I went into the takedown to record those clips, which we handled the takedown quite well, um, the only thing I would move is I put three of these points from arms deal into samsara samsara as you guys know with phase cased procs uh samsara which gives us health regeneration and gun damage that was enough for me to survive but i'm hoping to get um some different anointments and some better rolls as you can see this one doesn't have plus three into mindfulness which if we had plus three into mindfulness by the way, the damage on this would be even greater. If we had a single roll on this class bond giving us Jacob's crit, the damage would be uh, even crazier. There's so much room. The, all the damage that you saw, there's so much room for improvement. Uh, I apologize because I don't have any like god roll uh, things to really show with this. Uh, this is a good blood sprinkler. This good is a good elemental projector. But... Uh, Really hoping to get some better class mods with splash damage radius. But now if you guys are out farming and you see a class mod with splash damage radius, do not throw it away because it is your golden ticket to making this assault rifle absolutely insane. 
that was it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed um might play some footage here at the end and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace